explicit for you. I'm listening explicit for you. I'll say it if you need it, darling. I hear you calling, 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 calling. Hello guys, welcome back to the episode 2 of Richard Clone. So in the first episode, this is where we talk about controller. So we're able to set up uh, the chat table view controller, the contact table view controller, and this one. So uh, if you, you, you missed the first episode, and I'm going to leave the link down in the description below so you can check the first episode out before we continue. So as you can see in the simulator, this is what we... As you can see in the simulator, this is what we're doing the last cover and the me table uh, tab controller so in this episode we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the chat table view controller and try to uh, customize it as, as possible as we can so I, ha I have a screenshot of the WeChat app over here the, the WeChat interface alright so um, this is how WeChat looks like so the first one is the chats and we have the profile picture we have the, the profile picture the username was actually I've accepted your friend request and we have this profile picture over here so in this episode we're going to set up the chat interface and we're going to set up the profile picture this label for the username and the last image we're also going to fix this timestamp label we're going to create a label for this timestamp this is what we're going to do in this episode so let, let's get started I saw uh, this is a table view controller, chat table view controller. So we need to register a class. Now we have a UI table view. So this is a default cell uh, Apple gives us. So before, because we're going to need a profile picture, a username, a timestamp, and a last message level, we need to cast customize a, a, a table view cell. So I'm going to go ahead and create the table view cell. So right click, new file. Cuckoo touch class next let me choose so i'm going to make it a chat table view so make sure the language is set to swift next and add it to the project and add it to the project click create all right all right so we have we have this um, UI table view so chat table view so as so what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm gonna go ahead to customize this table view so I'm um, you need a profile picture so I'm gonna create a, 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 an image view for the profile picture so profile image view UI image view All right, so I'm going to create a profile image view. As I said, we are not going to use the storyboard, so everything is going to be create. Everything is going to be created in code. Then let's return this image view. So this uh, is a uh, a nice way of organizing the code. So um, everything we're going to do in between here will be part of this uh, UI image view then it will be returned and assigned to this profile image view. So anytime we call this profile image view everything we've customized in here is going to be accessed from this um, profile image view. So I'm going to go ahead and go to profile image view dot translate. Well, this is something we need to set because you're not going to use the storyboard we need to translate auto, auto we need to set that translate auto resizing mask into constraint to false because we're not going to use the storyboard we need to do that then i'm going to go ahead and say image view dot content mode let's go to skip dot skill aspect fill all right so this helps to uh skill the aspect ratio of the image we're going to assign to the image 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 view the image view dot clips to bounds. We need to clip clip this to bounds so that uh, it will crop the edges to make the image look so nice. Alright, I think that's what we need 
for the meantime. All right, so uh, I'm going to continue with this one. I need to call a fun set up a function. So we have layout subviews. So super dot layout subview. So once uh, this view, the UI table view, start laying out the subviews, we need to uh, start also adding the sub uh, these image image views to the subview. So I'm going to call this function fun, this method fun setup views so this is where we're going to set up views so once it starts laying the setup view it start laying its views we're going to call this set of views to add our our views to the subview uh, the first thing i'm going to add is the profile image view so self dot add subview profile image view uh, great so now <coughs> excuse me so now we've uh, added the a profile image view to the sub view of this table view controller. We need to give it a constraint where it should sit in the view. So we're going to call profile image view dot left dot constraint. So we're going to constrain the left side of the image view to the left self dot left anchor of the table view cell. And then we're going to we're going to go ahead. Because uh, we sign into the left side, I'm going to give it a uh, space from the left edge of the screen to the profile image view. I'm going to give it 5. Alright, then I'm going to also 15 actually. Then profile image dot height. I'm just going to assign height to the profile image. I'm going to make it 40. It's active. So this is active makes the constraint active. It means it's, it's being used. If you set it to false, this constraint will be ignored. Alright, so profile image view dot the width of the profile image view. So I'm also going to assign it to 40. Let me call it true. So now it's left. We need to also center it in the in the in the um, table view cell. So we're going to put it in the center of the table view cell. So profile image view the center. Okay, so this X is from well, left to right, and this uh, Y is from the top to the bottom. So we're going to use the Y. We need to send send it in in the in the table view cell. So constrain equal to self dot center anchor. Uh, it's equal to active. Yeah. Everything looks good. Okay, so uh, before. I run this program. I need to um, assign an image view, at, at least a default image view, so we can see. Because this profile image view is blank, so we need to uh, use a default, a placeholder image, before we can um, change it later on in the future. So I have these icons are prepared over here. In this folder, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I have these images I've prepared over here. We're going to use it later on. And I have this placeholder image. So I'm going to take it and drag into the asset library. So we go to the asset library and drag everything. The image is loaded real quick. Now let's head back to, let me close the folder. Let's head back to the chat table view cell and assign this image view, profile image view. Dot image view but image is equal to personal person placeholder so this is going to be a temporary image while we can you know change it later in the future okay so now i'm going to go ahead and run this program and let's see how it's going to look like if everything goes well if all the constraint and everything goes well then it's going to be pinned to the left of the table view so let me run a very quick command r runs it or you can use this one and go to this button and play it again. Alright, so it looks as if it was not loaded, everything looks blank. So let's check what the problem is. So um 
yeah this looks good here we call it in the layout section let's go to the chat table for you sir okay so we forgot to register this custom uh, table view so we created so I'm gonna go to this place and change it to chat chat table view so now we good so we need to also cast okay yeah we need to populate the table view so far we have the number of sections number of items in section so we're gonna make it one then we have number of rows in section how many items in the section in the meantime I'm gonna make it 10 I will change it later on then we need to also uncomment this one, delete this one, and make sure the reuse identifier for this cell and this cell we registered are the same. Alright, so I'm gonna cast this cell, table view dq reusable cell. I'm gonna cast this as the custom table view cell we created over here. Alright, so everything looks good right now. Yep. So let's run it real quick and see what's going to happen. Alright, so it appears everything is great. Well, not really great. We need to space up, so we need to give a height to the table view as how tall the each cell should be. So let's go down there and call table view. Table view height for row. Okay, so we have this height for row at index index part. Okay, so this method returns expect a uh, return of a CG float. So we're gonna return a CG float. So return we're gonna return fifty. Uh, fifty looks great. So we're gonna return fifty and see how it's gonna look like. All right. So let me run it one more time and let's see how it's gonna be. Alright, so it appears now everything looks kind of great. But this is the 15 we left from the left edge of the screen to the profile picture. Yeah, so uh, let me bring up the WeChat. So as you can see, this one, the edge, the edges of the image has been cropped. So let me go back to the chat table view, sir, and crop the edges of the profile image. So this is how we do it. So image view, the layer but corner readers, the corner readers of the image and let me make it 5 so because we set this clip to bounce it's a crop 5, it's a clip 5, it take 5 out of the corner at the edge of it and clip it, trim it very nicely so let me run it real quick and see how it's gonna look like Alright, so now it looks, yeah, it looks nice. So the edges have been cropped nicely. So now everything is great. Uh, let's go ahead and create the username, the last image, and the timestamp. Let me show you that real quick. So uh, let me bring up the reach out real quick. So we have uh, this username, this label for the username label, and this one for the last image sent. We also have this label for the timestamp. So this one, 
one, two, three. Now we've created a profile picture, so we're going to create this one as well. And the timestamp, real quick. Let's go back to let's go back to the table here. Yeah. I'm going to create a label. Let label um using the timestamp label first. The timestamp label as a UI label equals to this one. So we're going to customize the label and let label is equal to UI label and return label. Okay, so <laughs> this thing is really annoying, but we have to do it. Translate auto resizing mask into constraint. This is the false. We need to set it equal to four because we are not using the storyboard. We need to do that. Uh, label dot. Let me assign text so we can see when it shows up. So let me make it like 10, 15 p.m. All right, and I'm gonna change the color, text color to light gray something like light gray yeah it should be good then label dot the font i need to change the font size to ui font dot system font actually we need about 12 maybe the label yeah i think that looks great that'll be fine yeah one more thing let me also change the label the text alignment Go to the right so that the text will shift to the right side since we're placing it on the right side of the screen. All right, so let me copy this one the timestamp. Come down here and add it to the sub view. So we're gonna go to self. The self refers to the UI table view. So so self dot add sub view. Then I let me add it sub view. So now we've added. We need to also add constraints so it, it, we can position it. On the screen so right constraint constant so the right anchor is equal to it's active yeah and i'm going to give it a constraint about eight pixels from the right so we have minus eight from the right i'm going to go ahead and also um give it a constraint from the top so constraint top constraint is equal to solve the top constraint the constant of five from the top, so it's active. It's active. It was the truth. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it width. So the width is gonna be like sixty or fifty, maybe. So that it is active. So we check it. if it's not enough. We will change it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give it height. So the height is gonna be like thirty, yeah, uh, or twenty. Okay, so let's use uh, 20, 25 in the meantime, yeah, that'll be fine, so that's it to be true. Alright, so uh, let me add a background la background color so we can see clearly when it gets loaded. Okay, so we have the green. Alright, now I'm going to run it and we'll see what will happen. Hopefully, if everything goes well. You will you'll be alright. Okay, let me run it real quick. think if I can reduce the size, the font size a little bit, it will be great as well. So let's make it like 10. Yeah, that looks good. And uh, yeah, let me make the width 60 as well. Where's the width of the time? 60 right here. Okay, so this looks great as well, the width of the time. So, okay, now let's create it, the username label. So let's username <coughs> label is as UI label goes to this one. So let's customize everything. Let label is equal to UI label and return this label after it's been customized. Uh, great. Label dot <coughs> translate auto resizing 
this to false because if we don't, it's going to cause problems because we are not using the story book. It is annoying, but we need to do it. Anyway, so label dot text. Let me set the text so when it shows up, you can see something. I'm going to use my name Raxon as an example. Then label dot font. I need to send a font to UI font. This time, we're going to need the bold because we want it to be as big as possible 18. Then we're going to need. Yeah, I think that that's that's all right. Yeah, that looks great. So let me add it to the sub view. Let me go down here. Let me add it to the sub view. So sub dot add sub view right here. Okay, so now the right anchor is going to be the time stamp label dot left left anchor. Yeah, I probably should give it a constant of. Okay. Oh, maybe not necessary. Okay, let me go to the next one. Okay, you had and the left is also going to be the profile image view, but right anchor and a constant of A. Instead, it is active, it's equal to true. I'm going to go to the username. Um, I give it a height, we need a height as well. So, height with constraint, a height of uh, 20. I think that's gonna be great. Then username dot the top anchor. I need to also constrain it to the top of the cell, the top anchor, and give it a, a constant of five on the top. I think that would be great as well. All right, everything looks fine. So so far so good. So I'm gonna run a real quick and we'll see how it's gonna look like if everything goes well. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's see how it's gonna show up. Also, add a background color so we can see how far label of background color is equal to the gray. Yeah, that should be great. I also took the opportunity to create the last message. Okay, so this is going to be the last message label, last message label. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going to be last message sent. All right, and it's going to be something like 12. And the background color is going to be red. Yep. And the font is going to be the font is to have text color. It's going to be light gray. No, for now, maybe I'll change it later. Alright, so let me go ahead and add it to the sub view. So that add sub view. So to the right, it's going to be straight to the Cell dot right anchor of the screen and let me give the constant of negative eight from the left eight pixels. It's equal to true. Then let me come here to the left. We also constrain it to the right side of the profile image. So profile image the right anchor. Then give it a space of eight as well. It's active. So how this this don't work. So if you're leaving um, some pixels away from the right, you need to use the negative. And from the left, it should be positive. From the bottom, it should be negative. From the top, it should be positive. That's how it works. So the last, last message, um, we need um, the top, top anchor constraint to... Uh, so we're going to put it just beneath the username. The username label the bottom is equally true yeah that looks great then the last one is actually give it height so the height constraint it's gonna be 20 yeah so so it should be great it's actually yeah that's when it should be great Alright, so let me go ahead, run it, and if everything goes well, 
goods are well organized and everything. It'll be fine. So let me run it. It's going to take a sec. Alright, so we have everything looks great, I think. Yep. So let me change, let me get rid of the bag and colors and see how it's going to look like. I think it's going to look pretty. So let me scroll up a little bit and uh, change the background color to clear and to clear and clear as well. Alright, that should be good. So let me run it one more time and see how it's going to look like. Yeah, everything is good.